I can't believe a whole year has gone by and it's time to think about the best of. And what we love the best. Because there's so many things to choose from. I mean, you think about all the different things that we, we make during the year and it's like, how can you even choose? But we were all able to do that today. You know, you just kind of keep narrowing it down and yeah. go, yeah, that's really the one. Yeah. So what is your project today? Well, obviously, like I said, it's, it's the water bottle bracelet that was so popular with all the, you know, a lot of times I go out and do um, talks at different groups and organizations. Then I go to the kids' schools and things like that and teach my eco-crafting. And this particular one where you just cut out the bracelet and wrap it was everybody's favorite. And, and I love to see the enthusiasm of people where they, um, it's like, oh, that's eco-friendly. Oh, I can do that. So this is my favorite. And um, I put a little bit, a few little felt flowers on it to make it a little different. Take a look. To make these fun bracelets, I'm using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue. It's an all-purpose glue, but I love it because of the flexibility, and the uh, plastic water bottles definitely are flexible. Now, choose your water bottle by the size of your wrist. So the smaller ones are going to be for a smaller wrist. So you, if you wanted to use these you and you wanted for a bigger one, you'd have to add to it. So you're going to cut your pieces, and then you'd have to add to make it bigger. These that are a little bit bigger to begin with, work really, really well for most, uh, most wrists. So I've taped off with uh, just masking tape, and this will determine the size of the, the width of the bracelet. So if you want it a little bit smaller, then pick a smaller width of the masking tape. Or on this one, I can't find masking tape that's a half inch, so I just cut it in half. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a craft knife, and you're going to cut just put your knife in there and just cut it apart. Then you just trim with your scissors right up to the masking tape. Now if the blue masking tape is not going to affect the color of the uh, fabric that I put on, then I just leave it on. On this particular one I'm going to be using white fabric, so I would take it off. Super simple. there's my bracelet ready to be covered. So I've removed the um, masking tape and you can see there's a couple different sizes here. We'll just take, we're going to take this smaller one and again make sure it's going to go over your wrist. Another tip when you're using any of the Aline's glues that are in the squeeze bottles, if you leave them on their side the glue is closer to the, to the nozzle so it will come out quicker. Put a little glue on the inside, and I've already ripped my fabric to be oh, about three, oh, maybe three quarters to an inch wide, and then I've ironed it. So I'm going to put it into my glue, and then you just start to wrap it, and hold on to the glued part first, and then pull it tight, and then every so often on the inside there, add a little bit more glue. Again, pulling snug. And a little more of the 
lean stacky glue, remember that this is a great one because it's flexible. And you can see with all this flexing, when it dries, you want to make sure that this is going to stay in place. I'm going to thread there. Now this one ended up pretty perfect where I just have a little piece left. If you ran out of uh, fabric, you can always piece it together by just gluing with the Aleem's Tacky Glue um, a little bit more. So on the inside of this tab, we're going to put a little bit of glue and then just fold it under. Now you can use the bracelet just like this. This is where it's been my favorite because you can stack a whole bunch of them or we can cover them with the um, felt die cut pieces. Now I found with my felt that the die cutting machines don't always cut all the way through the felt. So I found if you go through and use the Aline Tacky Glue, again the original Aline Tacky Glue um, in the gold bottle, Put it on the back, squeeze it on the back, let it dry completely. It gives it a lot more stability. So when you put it in the machine, it works really well. But you need to let it dry really good. So I have my little pieces here. And I've even um, punched out some, just some uh, quarter inch paper punch from the felt. And then you just start to glue them on. And I liked it where they were kind of bunched up and close together. And there's a little, oops. And remember again that the glue dries clear. You just add them all the way on, like this one, until you just have a bunch of little flowers and it makes the perfect bracelet. How fun is that? So now everyone can see why these are your favorite, my favorite, their favorite. And just think about this, the new year of teaching this to all the people that you know. I mean, when you have little parties and gatherings or you, you need something for a school group or a church group or anything, so easy and it's just pennies. And when we're always on a budget, this is just a perfect, and look at how cool it looks. I know, I love, it's just, I love this. Let's see, would they fit me? And oh, gosh, I oops. think they match. <laughs> <laughs> They're lightweight. Mm -hmm. You can create them in any colors, mm -hmm. designs that you want. And I just have two new bracelets And now. it's, it's kind of like use what you have around the house. I mean, when I put out a call to someone that I need, I need something, you know, like t-shirts or, or fabric or whatever. It's amazing what I get in my little, the little baskets that pe or boxes that people bring. There's a lot of bartering that goes yeah. on in the craft studio. <laughs> I'll give you one t-shirt for three water bottles. Yeah. Or teach me how and, and what can I bring. And um, it's amazing how many people will bring like shirts and things like that and just rip them up the same way that I rip my fabric up. Use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy. Um, and then it makes it a great eco project because you're using, you're upcycling things that you have. So there you have it, Heidi's best of for the year, eco water bottle well, bracelet. Not only best of, but favorite of. <laughs>